What's up, everybody? It's Biohazard here, back at you again with another episode of VR Ops Tips and Tricks. Today, we're going to be covering the VR Ops Operator's Guide, a set of guidelines and operations that'll keep you from getting your ass kicked in VR. So let's get started. All right, so today I'm going to be covering a set of different tactics and skills that both used in real life and in virtual and VR to help you get your edge on VR. So, first of all, it's important to uh, take care of your weapon. Now, while this applies in real life, where you have to keep your weapon clean and stuff, it applies in virtual reality where you need to find a weapon that you trust and that you can bring up. You need to be able to practice like this. You need to get your gun, bring it up every time, right in the same spot with the little red dot side. So you need to practice that coming around corners like this or low. Either way, it's important to be able to aim quickly. Second, you need to practice hip fire. Now, you're not going to be able to get hip fire down just by running around the map um, or, you know, in this area right here. It's just not enough practice. The only way you're going to get lock on just magnificent hip fire is just from playing the game. Now, another thing, it's important that you keep your weapon reloaded. Now, uh, it sounds kind of obvious, but what I mean by that is, is a lot of times you're coming around the corner, your clip's empty, and you're trying to reload, and you miss, and you're dead. So, it's important to practice reloading your gun, just like this, until you've gotten in a good habit, where you can do it no problem. You can also reload your gun by placing it into your inventory, taking the clip out, sticking the clip in, and pulling back on the chamber. Now, it's also important to know that when you're out of ammo and you don't have enough time to reload, you need to practice switching to your pistol. And as you can see, I just messed up there. And you just got to be quick. You need to practice switching from here to there. And you need to be able to do it fast. Now, I recommend this, uh, this pistol right here. It is the, the Glock 22. It's a fully automatic pistol, and it fucks shit up like bad it, it hurts it's a bad little gun <clears throat> all right so also uh, another strong point when someone's close to you now and uh where they'll teach you this in like a real military stuff when you're coming around the corner you don't want to come around the corner like this with your gun exposed like that now it's not going to make as much of a difference in virtual reality where you don't have to worry about your life and everybody's kind of rushing around but it's important to kind of pull your gun back and push it out as you come around the corner. When you're near somebody, and let's say there's someone standing here in front of me, and um, my gun is poking like right through their chest. Since this is VR, it just kind of goes right through. It's occluded, and as you can see, it's not shooting my hand. So when you're up close to someone like that, you just want to be quick with a knife. That's another thing you need to practice. Switching from this to that really fast now I can't say you because of all the different devices that throwing knives you'll ever get super good at it I can't throw these things to save my life you know I want it to go here when it goes there now I'm on my rift s now this this action varies depending on what headset you're using this works a whole lot easier on my on my cv1 whereas here it doesn't work at all it's also important to know how to clear rooms quickly and efficiently. Now you can run up, you want to go from the open corner. You want to go from where there's least on one side to the other. You can get a clear view. You want to cover the edge all the way in, all the way around. But a lot of times while you're doing this, and you're sitting here looking around, you're probably going to get shot in the back. So you need to be quick with it. Like, really quick. Well, that's all for today's episode of VR Ops Tips and Tricks. I um, have a lot more stuff here, and maybe I held out on some tips for another episode. Maybe not. You're going to have to stay tuned to find out. And I made all these really cool little game cases that I just thought I would show them real quick. I got, you know, Pavlov and War Dust and... Uh, you know, all these games that everybody loves. And I'm going to be covering the stuff. Um, and maybe some other games. 
Well, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.